I am going to be becoming a mountain man in Red Dead Redemption 2. So basically how this is going to work is we have some, some rules. Rule number one, for seven days I am not allowed to enter any populated areas at all. Rule number two, I must survive in those areas for seven days. And rule number three, I am only allowed a bow and a knife for my weapons. No guns. So let's begin. Now to start this off, we need to get out of here and into a non-populated area. Okay, and I gotta get out of here soon because currently it is extremely hot in the game and that is causing my health core to fall, okay? We've got all types of cores here. We've got a temperature core, we've got a hunger core, a thirst core, a piss core, everything you could think of that a human would need. I've got it covered. We're immediately gonna go up towards Amberino. I imagine the temperature's gonna get much lower there, but we gotta race. My health is dropping fast. Okay, you know what, screw it. I don't think we're gonna make it to Amberino in time. I'm just gonna set up camp now and we're gonna, we're gonna change our clothing. There we go. I just took off Arthur's coat, so he shouldn't get so hot right now. All right, there we go. Health core is increasing. Like I said, this is pretty much all we have in our weapons category. You know, just the bow. We also have throwing knives, a regular knife, and even a hatchet, which might come in handy maybe if I decide to violently kill someone. I don't plan on killing anybody. But yeah, I do have some crackers and biscuits that I was able to like take from camp and stuff. So hunger shouldn't be an issue for at least the first couple days, but with this mod that I've installed, if Arthur does not eat after 18 hours, that is when he will start starving to death. So we need to make sure he's getting regular meals, which is where the bow is going to come in handy. Oh crap, looks like the rain is picking up a bit. You know, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of animals that spawn here while it's like all rainy and windy like this. But since we're right next to a lake, I do think we can try fishing. The fish can't really hear the wind, right? Because they're like underwater and stuff, right? Is that, that's how physics work? I don't, I, come on horse, follow me. All right, this looks like a nice, good place to fish. Maybe we can find a 20 pounder out here. Come on, give me something good. There we go. Oh, what the heck is that? 14 ounces? He needs some milk! Do you really think that's gonna feed an absolute unit like Arthur? Okay, I guess that's like, or maybe like half a meal. Okay, I'll take that, I guess. I think I'll just keep fishing now for the rest of day one. Just try to stockpile as much fish as, as, as fish as I can. You know, cause I just I just don't wanna have hunger be a problem. Okay, like I just, I just wanna be on top of this. Like if I plan, if I plan correctly, this challenge should be a breeze for me. Well, I've got a little bit of a problem. I kinda forgot I had a bounty on me. I did not mean for this to also turn into a max bounty challenge as well, but apparently I have an $894 bounty. Good gosh. I really do a lot of killing in between filming videos, don't I? It's fine though. I've done a lot of max bounty videos before. I know exactly how to avoid them. So we can keep on fishing. I just got to make my way a little over, over this way. Now we can go right back to fishing. Uh, unfortunately, because of one of the rules where I said I can't go back into town, I'm definitely not going to be able to be able to pay off that bounty for like all of this challenge because you have to go to a post office to pay off your bounty. So yeah, that really freaking sucks. Is what it is. I'm not restarting the challenge. Oh crap. I'm losing health again. Wait a minute. Hold on. Apparently it's getting so freaking hot now for Arthur that even with his coat off, he's still burning up. How hot is it? Dude, this is ridiculous. How much do I have to strip myself down? Ugh, none of this is gonna work. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna keep going north. We gotta get out of this freaking hot Lemoyne weather, dude. Arthur's gonna melt. I made my way up to New Hanover. It's definitely gonna be a bit cooler up here now, so hopefully now we don't have to keep running up north. Whoa, calm horse. What's got you all jittery? Are there any snakes around? I hope not. I didn't pack any hell tonics. If I get poisoned by a venomous snake, I am screwed. Get out my fishing rod again. Plan is to still keep fishing for the rest of this day. That hasn't changed. Hopefully this stream has some good fish. All right, while the sun is setting, we caught a lot of good fish. You look at that, look at all those fish. Oh my, those are all my fish, guys. That should last us at least a few days. I, actually, I don't know, because I'm pretty sure fish can get rotten. Okay, it's getting dark now, so I'm gonna set up camp. We're gonna sleep overnight. I don't see any point of trying to stay awake at nighttime, plus I don't want my Arthur to get sleep deprived. I wanna keep that sleep core looking as healthy as possible, so let's just pass out. All right, now we begin day two. I guess we'll have some fish fish for breakfast because that's all I freaking went for yesterday. What do you guys think? Should we go with the plain fakey fish, the plain plump fish, or the plain succulent fish? I think I'm gonna go with the succulent fish. Out of curiosity, what exactly makes a fish succulent? I have no idea. 
All right, I'm gonna stow some of this fish though for later, just so I have some food on the go, you know? Now, one thing that the mountain men of the 1800s did was they just like to do a lot of exploring. So I kind of want to just like see if I can travel as much as I possibly can. I don't really feel like just staying in one position. Let's see if we can find some different animals maybe to hunt. American pronghorn doe. Don't mind if I do, please. Let's go for the headshot. Come on, we can get it, Arthur. Dude, my aim is sick. Oh crap, the stream is carrying it away. Thankfully, it's not moving too fast. You skin it too quickly and there is a possibility that the, the meat will go bad and I'm not... Really not interested in eating rotten meat. Really quick way to get E. coli. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I, I don't even know if that's right. Let's keep going up river. That just seems like something that mountain men would do. All right, I've been going upstream for a decent while now, but I kind of realized that I messed up. My horse also has a hunger meter, uh, but I didn't pack enough food for my horse during this challenge. Horses can't eat human food. They don't eat fish. All I've got left to feed my horse are ginseng and sage, and those are just plants. It's not gonna properly fix my horse's problem of famishness. So uh, we're gonna need to craft horse food. How do we even do that? I forgot, I'm pretty sure there's a formula for it. Ah, here it is, the horse meal. Currant, beets, and hay. Where the heck am I supposed to find that stuff? Currant you can find in Annisburg, but beets and hay are only available at horse stables, which would immediately disqualify me from the challenge because I am required to literally stay away from any place that's populated. So what the heck, my horse is just gonna starve to death? That's stupid. One way or another, my horse is literally going to stumble and die of starvation. Bro, he's not taking my crackers, bro. Every time I try to feed him the crackers, Arthur just eats it. Bro. It's just, it's rigged. It, I, I, we're gonna have to find another horse then. You know what? Screw it, man. We're not like that ridiculously far from the White Arabian location, which is like around Lake Isabella. I'm just gonna go up there and get get the White Arabian. I might as well. That is like one of the best maxed out horses in the game. Yeah, if this horse is gonna die on me, might as well already start looking for a replacement for him. God, I sound like a sociopath. Hey, don't move! The, oh my god, it's one of those O'Driscoll counters. Afraid we're robbing all the folks come through these parts. Oh, dude, you are so lucky that I don't have a gun on me, you O'Driscoll scum. Go ahead and rob a mountain man. That's a good idea. Close. What the? They're shooting me. Okay, okay, I did not. I literally didn't move. Oh my god, I have to leave my horse. Oh, we gotta get out the bow. Oh, oh! Oh my god. Dude, I literally have to defend myself with my bow. This, what is this? This is like cowboy versus Indians. Oh my god, go! Okay, hide behind the tree, hide behind the tree. Tree is cover, use your tree as cover. Dive, dodge the bullets like your Neo from the Matrix. Get him off the horse. Oh, you, you think you can tackle Mountain Man? Are you crazy? Take this hatchet. Oh, oh, show him. Yeah, you want some too? Who else is out there? I see the red thing on the, on the mini map. Who else is out there? I'll tomahawk you in the, oh, whoa, my, my stamina. All right, chill, chill, holy crap. My bro, he is looking deranged. <laughs> Look at all that blood. That vest is ruined. Dude, I had to defend myself, okay? This is what happens when you try to jump a mountain man. I think my Arthur took an injury. Is my horse still alive? I you good, buddy? Oh, he's still good. Okay, fantastic. All right, let's get the heck out of here before someone sees all those bodies. The heck? Is that what I think it is? Oh my God, that's a bear. Do not get closer. Dude, that looked like a freaking buck to me. I was about to arrow that. Okay, I'm gonna play it risky. We're gonna try to get the bear. Come on. All right, that's one arrow. We got two. Come on, come on, three. Oh! Yo, this horse is a legend for not bucking me off, though. How did this horse not buck me off? Oh! <laughs> Dude, I don't know how this horse didn't buck me off. I'm so sad that he's gonna die of hunger. Let's finish off this bear. This will probably produce a whole lot of meat. Just replace that dough. Trust me, bear meat tastes way better anyway. Listen, I'm not like a, a doctor or like a, a wild animal physician, but... Is it normal for the body of a wild animal to still be moving after you skinned it? <laughs> I'm just gonna chalk that up as an in-game bug. Temperature has dropped very sharply, as you can see by the snowflakes, so we're gonna need to change our outfit again. I'm so glad I packed a lot of stuff, though. Get into something a little bit more toasty. White Arabian shouldn't be too far now. All right, well, it's like almost pitch black out now, besides that very shiny moon. It's gonna be hard to find the White Arabian in this dark, and plus, my sleep core is already like at 25%, meaning I'm gonna start like blacking out if I don't sleep soon, so I think I'm just gonna set up camp. Hold on, let's cook some of that bear meat first. Oh my god. Delicious. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the, the life of a mountain man sounds awesome. Literally, all you have to do is just freaking like walk around and like freaking eat stuff. And low key, I feel like I wanna try it. We're starting day three and <laughs> yo, my horse freaking died, dude. That's the freaking starvation, dude. My horse starved to death overnight. Okay, oof. 
All right, well, it was gonna happen eventually. It's a good thing we planned for this because the White Arabian should be just over that direction. So, I mean, we're gonna have to approach it on foot though. It's not a problem. Oh man, that's that water's gotta be cold. Please don't die of hypothermia, Arthur. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, it's so hard to tell because everything is so freaking white. But oh, I think if you look really closely, there's like a really faint horse tail. Don't call it yet. Easy. Easy. Easy now. Gotta calm it very strategically. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that did not go to plan. Hey. Easy, girl. Oh, it's a girl horse. Oh, I was saying it wrong. That's why she kicked me. Okay. Easy, girl. Okay, now that I'm calling it a girl, it should work now. Oh, that's right. You know you want it. You know you want it. Get on. Oh. Okay, come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. We can get it. Yes. We're friends now, girl. Get back to camp. I think this is really, really cold weather. Dude, I think my Arthur is freezing because his hat fell off when the horse kicked me. Dude's poor head is freezing, yo. You know, I don't know what just happened with the weather, but apparently there's like some kind of blizzard. It's gotten like, it's, it's really freaking cold. So I think I'm literally gonna have to hide in camp right now for like potentially the rest of day three. This is not how I wanted to spend my day. I wanted to do more exploring, but I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to freeze to death. Sometimes part of being a wilderness man is just actually just staying inside your tent, ironically. I'm gonna try to just basically sleep this off. All right. Is the blizzard over? Oh, yeah, the weather's looking much better now. Dude, my Arthur's probably starving, dude. He just like, he literally just slept for like over 16 hours. Dude went hard with the intermittent fasting. All right, here, do we have any food? Oh, we still got some flaky fish. I'd eat that up, my boy. Oh, holy crap, look at his beard. Crap's already getting longer too, by the way. So now we can get out of here. I don't plan on staying in this freaking cold hell anymore. No. Uh, obviously, this white Arabian is gonna die when she runs out of food, because obviously, like we established, I can't get horse food because I need to buy that. So that kind of sucks, but I'm hoping that she at least lasts a couple days. In the meantime, we're going to keep trying to explore the wilderness a bit. I think let's head, let's head east a bit. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the first people I've seen out like in the, in the wilderness that like is just walking by themselves and low key. This is pretty messed up, but I'm considering killing him for food. Should I do it? Oh, okay. He's starting to get mad that I was telling him. Listen. All right. The same personal, but a mountain man's got to eat. All right. <laughs> Oh crap, he's running. How the hell, how did he survive two throwing knives? Okay, hold on. How is he still alive? Dude took six throwing knives to die. Look at that crap. Look at all those in his, is he like freaking Julius Caesar or something? Okay, whatever. He's, yeah, I'm sorry. Let's just hope he had some food on him because did he have anything? Nope. That was a pretty pointless murder. I don't know what that is. It's an elk. All right. It's going to be kind of a long distance shot, but I think I can hit it. Yo, my aim is sick. Okay, hold on. It wasn't a kill shot though. Wait, come back. Oh my God, I hit that too free. Dude, I am sick. Dude, I don't need dead eye or nothing. I'm telling you, I could do this challenge IRL. Let's finish him off. Easy. Even though I was able to get the arrows back from that kill though, we are running dangerously low on arrows now. I've got only 10 left. Like that's still a decent bit, but like you have to understand, we're still like basically around halfway done with this challenge. We're gonna need to craft some more arrows. Hey, watch where you're- He's gonna try to kill me. I know. I knew he was gonna try to shoot me. Hey, dude, I'm gonna have to use one of my bows on you. Are you freaking- I have to use one of my arrows on you, you freaking turd. What a waste of an- All right, actually, I can recover the arrow. What you get for trying to come out of mountain men? Wait a minute. Uh-oh, my horse is barely moving. No! Dude, we didn't even name her. Oh my god, she's already dead. Okay, so I guess she died of hunger. Dude, she barely lasted a day and a half. What kind of- this is something I should have planned before this video is figuring out how I was going to get horse food. I didn't even think about it. Okay, it looks like we're going to be on foot from here. Hey, what? I saw a horse. Come on, come on, come on. Hit the shot. Come back. He's too far away. Hold on. Let me, can I hit the shot? Come on, come on. Let me hit the shot. Oh, dude, I'm wasting arrows. This is a waste. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, this is, this is just a disaster, dude. Now we've got bounty hunt. Are you serious? This is the worst. Just run before the bounty hunters. <laughs> run before the bounty hunters get here, dude. Oh, buddy pal chief, you can go faster than that. Come on. All right, screw it. I'm dropping it. I'll come back for a later, dude. The bounty hunters are on my tail. I'm going to die if they catch up to me because all I've got to defend myself are six arrows and six throwing knives and some tomahawks. Cowboys versus Indian situation again. I am not winning this fight. Oh. Oh. Dude, my heart stopped for a second there. I thought I was dead. The bounty hunters lost our trail. Let's go back and get our satchel. Day five. So we're still pretty much on foot. 
At this point, we have pretty much no food left. I ate the last of it this morning, uh, but like we still have six arrows. So, I mean, I was just being overly cautious. I think I can make six arrows work if I'm just really smart about it and I go for headshots. And then, I mean, really, we just need to find a horse though because like I am moving. Wait, there's another guy. Oh my God, please hit him. Hit the shot this time. We got him. Wait, oh my God. Oh, dude, dude, he hit me. He, he, I got injured. I got, oh, I was, I was so close to dying. Arthur got injured. Did you see? You do this. Don't make this difficult. You want to see what I can do with a shooter? Please, don't tell anybody. Come back. Oh, we got. He's getting. It's a witness. Wait. Dude, I got injured again. My Arthur is actually like going through some kind of sepsis or I don't know what the term is. His body is going into freaking shutdown mode. Okay, this is bad. I just need to. I need to get. I need a GTFO. Yeah, we've got we got lawmen in numbers. About four lawmen, and I, I cannot take on four people right now. All right, we just made it out of it. Very injured, but alive. Dude, my Arthur is literally running out of stamina when he runs for a few steps. This is what happens when you get shot twice. You can barely move. I don't think my Arthur is going to bleed out because that's not really how it works. It's just like, I basically just like move like as if like, like I'm holding in a really, really big crap. Now we need to find a horse. I don't think I'm going to try to gamble again though and try to shoot somebody. Because, like, if I get shot one more time, I'm pretty much gonna die, most likely. Another injury will literally make me, like, crippled. I don't know, but walking like this, it's gonna take forever, dude. I found it. I found the golden opportunity. There's a horse right there. I think this is like a hunter, unique, like, special event or something. Some hunter is doing something. I don't know. Oh, I see him. He's over there. Oh my god, he's shooting a bear. Okay, don't care. I don't care. Get, get, horse! Horse! Oh my god, it's not working. And the bear's coming here. I'm screwed. Wait, wait, wait. I need your horse. I need your horse. There's a bear! There's a bear! I cannot believe that worked. That guy came at the perfect time. Dude, that guy's probably getting mauled by a bear right now. <laughs> Sucks to be you, buddy. You just got Grand Theft Autoed. By a mountain man. Uh, actually, oh crap. We left our satchel back there. Okay, I'll go back and get it. No bear, right? No bear? I think we're in the clear. All right, come on. Let's get out of here, though. I'm not trying to wait around for it to show up again. Now, I've just woken up. It's the morning of day six. Last night wasn't uh, wasn't super eventful. You know, I was just like trying to like get my relationship with my horse up. Uh, we are officially out of food. All I've got left in my provisions are just cigarettes. I've got no meat left to cook. I am going to go hungry. Now, my hunger core is going to become dangerously low at this point if I don't find food extremely, like, soon. Like, I need food yesterday. Okay, like, I really should have planned for this better, but so much bad crap has been happening. Luckily, I did come up with, I think, a pretty good plan. My camp was spawned near train tracks. So I think, you know, usually trains in this game, it's not always a done deal, but usually, from my experience, the trains in the game have snacks on board, usually like somewhere in the passenger lounge. So if I could just get like some canned peaches or some canned, I mean, I mean, we've only got like a roughly 48 hours in game left. That might just be enough to get me through this and we can still do some hunting. I mean, I mean, I still do have like three arrows, but like, I mean, like, I don't know if that's going to be just enough. And speak of the devil. The train is literally coming right now. That is perfect timing. All right. Come on, you crazy mountain man, Arthur. Let's get ready to board this train. You can time this right. It shouldn't be a big deal. Come on in. Oh, perfect timing. I am the god of timing the train. And I think I'm already seeing something. What is this? Please tell me it's food. Please tell me it's hair pomade. Okay. Dude, the last thing a mountain man needs is to be getting his hair slick. All right, seriously, how useless. I'm not even gonna bother picking that up. What's this, canned vegetables? Okay, I will take that. Eat up, my boy, I know you've been hungry. It'll help you recover from your gunshot wounds. There we go. I still haven't been spotted. The guards on this train are pretty sparse. Crap, this guy spotted me. All right. I'm taking your food. I'm not asking permission. All right, ooh, there's an apple. Oh crap, they spotted me. Screw it, I'm using my tomahawks here. Oh, oh my god, I keep missing. Dude, a train is a terrible place to be trying to throw tomahawks. Come on, Pocahontas on your ass. Oh my god, they spotted me. Okay, we gotta, we gotta abort. All right, we got another canned item. That should be enough. I'm, I'm out. I'm jumping. Bail, bail ship. Oh, okay, we're good. 
Do we gotta get out of here? Because yeah, the cops are gonna be on that train soon. Honestly, that was not a lot of food, but I'm hoping that it's just enough. Well, I'm finding my way down the mountain, but holy crap, they're still chasing me. Holy crap, luckily I found just the way right off the cliff. Um, they're relentlessly chasing me. Leave me alone. Can't you just see I'm a, just a freaking crazy man that just wants to be left alone? Just leave me to the wolves. Oh my God, they literally just let it go. They Maybe they actually heard me saying that. All right, horse, come on. We still have two arrows, so I'm gonna see if I can get one more thick animal with some good enough meat. And honestly, the rest of this challenge, assuming there's no more freaking hiccups, should be a breeze. Oh, there we go. This is a headshot. Dude, honestly, when you have aim like this, how can you not survive in the wilderness? Seriously, I've just awoken for my last day, day seven. Unfortunately now though, I literally am out of ammo. It cost me my last two arrows to get that last animal. I still do have like, you know, six throwing knives and a tomahawk. I could still kill probably an animal with that stuff, but I probably should try to figure out if I can craft some arrows. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, there is a recipe for improved arrows. All I need are arrows. Wait. What? Hey, never mind, I'm screwed. I guess I need arrows. That's actually really triggering. Arthur should be able to last another day without food, but it's like he's gonna be hungry. Is that- Oh, berries. Okay, that'll work. I just found some berries. Winter green berry. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not poisonous. Okay, be honest. That's the coolest thing you've ever seen, right? That's the coolest thing you've ever seen, right? Dude, that's got- that's like the thing that I would really love about living in the wilderness IRL though. Like you could just find like a nice cliff like this and just piss off the edge of the world. And like, seriously, what a view. Like imagine you're pissing, right? And maybe this doesn't apply to females. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Imagine you could piss and then this is your view. I'm sorry, bro, but that's just like, that's some next level type stuff. Like, holy crap, I'm literally pissing and I'm like a step away from death. This is literally living life on the edge. All right, I just slept through the seventh night, which means the challenge has now been won. We have just survived seven days in the wilderness. All right, my third horse dead. D my third horse did not survive, you know, but uh, it's okay because I survived. I did what I had to do to survive. Just to give you a close up, this is what a human, according to Red Dead Redemption 2, this is what a human looks like after seven days in the wilderness. Dude, this man looks absolutely miserable. Maybe Arthur you know, isn't really built for the mountain man life. I don't know, but he looks, dude looks like he aged 10 years in seven days. Hold, listen, if you're interested in becoming a mountain man IRL, it's, uh, it's not a pretty life. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like up and sub and I'll see you in the next one.